Hey guys, I hope you're doing absolutely awesome. And in this video, I'm going to do some benchmarking of this Rockstrix G15 Ryzen 9 RDX 3070 gaming laptop. So that was quite a mouthful. And in this video, I'm going to run some tests like Cinebench, Geekbench, and then I'm going to show you how this laptop performs in different games like Metro Exodus. Uh, Watch Dogs 2 and Days Gone. So I'm going to play these games and I'm going to show you in real time what are the FPS, what is the GPU temperature, what is the CPU temperature. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first test is Cinebench and I've just fired this software up. So let's see what are the scores. Well, I don't know if there is any system in the world which can just render it so fast. If you do know, then let me know in the comments below. So what I am able to guess is that we are at 4th. Uh, the top guy is AMD Ryzen Threadripper. And then we have, uh, I think Intel Xeon. And then we have again AMD Ryzen Threadripper. So AMD is excelling in multi-core performance so our score comes out at 12858 points which is 3800 more than intel i9 that is crazy so this ryzen 9 5900hx just diminishes i9 9880 cpu this ryzen 9 also also outperforms intel xeon x5650 so there is a lot of difference you see there is a lot like i think 6000 points there is a difference of 6000 points between intel xeon and ryzen 9 so we can forget about i7 coming even near close to this ryzen 9 so yeah let's fire on our new test score which is geekbench so first of all i am going to test the cp performance and our score comes at about 1466 that is single core performance and multi core comes out at 7451 now let me perform the gpu test first of all i'm going to perform opencl so opencl scores comes at about uh, 131273 which is i think pretty good now let me run cuda score so the CUDA core comes at about 139251, which is again pretty good. Okay, so now let us test some games. So the first game is Days Gone, and I'm playing this game at ultra settings. So uh, as you can see, that my GPU temperature is like fairly good. It is 64 degrees Celsius, and the GPU consumption is 12%, and the CPU temperature is I think 77 degrees Celsius, and I think I'm getting around 110, 120, 115 FPS. So I think the like the average should be 100 FPS on ultra settings in days gone, which is I think pretty good for a gaming laptop. So yes, so I think this laptop uh, performs on the desktop level. So yes, I'm also getting 130 FPS, 133 FPS, 120 FPS and even when you are fighting with zombies then I, then also the frame drop is not that much uh, i think the lowest that i have seen is 90 fps which is again pretty good so the lowest fps that i am getting is 90 and the highest that i have got in this game are 130 fps which is again pretty good so one more thing i am testing this laptop in a room where the temperature is, at, is around 25 degrees celsius so yes that will also have an impact on the performance of your machine but yeah the temperatures are not that much high the maximum temperature of the cpu that i am getting is 81 degrees celsius and the maximum for my gpu is 67 degrees celsius which is i think pretty good not crazy insane but okay the next game which is Watch Dogs 2 so in Watch Dogs, i think uh, my FPS are pretty low than Days Gone, partly because I have just taken the render scale to the maximum. So this is the maximum that you can have in Watch Dogs 2, 
my graphics are all at ultra settings so yeah i'm getting 68 70 fps at ultra my gpu temperatures are pretty normal 67 degrees 68 degrees celsius and and the gpu consumption is pretty low 9% 10% and cpu temperatures are also fair 79 degrees celsius 80 degrees celsius which is again pretty okay I think but Watch Dogs 2 is a lot more demanding on this laptop. So now let me test the next game which is Metro Exodus. So in Metro Exodus I have turned all my settings to extreme, extreme graphics, DLSS, ray tracing, everything that you can imagine. And in extreme settings I am getting 59, 58, like 60 FPS, 6 sometimes, 70 FPS, 75. So yeah, I think this is playable. Uh, my GPU temperature are also normal, 63 degrees Celsius, 8% GPU utilization. And CPU temperatures are fairly normal, 74 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I think this is pretty normal. Yeah, this game looks pretty good in extreme. This DLSS, this these ray tracing, this makes this game look so fantastic. So the maximum that I'm getting are I think 85 FPS, the lowest I think 55. So yeah, this is pretty normal. So that was it guys. So these were my benchmarks for this Rockstrix G15. Please share your thoughts about this laptop in the comment section below. And subscribe if you are new to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.